Puta. Oh, no, 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 no. His run as Damien Miz that was one of the best things on WWE TV during that time period. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 20 minutes of hilarious wrestling impressions. This should be a very interesting one. I've been looking forward to checking this video out. It's just a lot of other videos have been uh um piquing my interest and as soon as i was about to check this one out then there will be another video that I, I definitely wanted to talk about but definitely looking forward to this man it it's always good when wrestlers poke fun at each other and they they do their own little funny impressions of each other it's always a good time man so we're gonna check this out appreciate all love and support let's get right into this one man one show is this on? There's always room for comedy in wow. wrestling. One of the most textbook ways a talent can mock or in some cases pay tribute to another wrestler is by imitating them. Regardless if the impression is spot on or way off, it's usually always funny. The rock was bacon! Brother was bacon! <laughs> look at look at D-Lo, he's the man! <laughs> it can be a way to generate heel heat or simply have a bit of fun. People start flushing you down the toilet, damn it! Woo! Her opponent, she's the team of she's the for this video, we're covering the best examples by highlighting those that frequently dressed up as or imitated other talent. Bro, Damien Sandow. Bro, that shit was funny. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Of course they didn't really take him seriously, but he made the best of being the Miz's stunt double, bro. It, it was it was hilarious, bro. He made the best of it as much as he could. <laughs> and today we list the top 10 wrestlers who imitated their opponents. Before we begin, honorable mentions go to WWF's Goldberg parody, Gilberg. Oh man, what a pyro show for a man called Gilberg. Oh my God. It's not Goldberg, it's, <laughs> it's Gilberg. Steve Austin in ECW. Uh -huh. If I don't put you to sleep, the matches probably will. So bear with us. This is Monday Night Raw. Steve Omania is going to run wild Steve on Mania. the ECW, brother. Steve, Steve Omania, I'm taking the drivers. <laughs> TNA legend Jay Lethal. Uh -huh. Ooh, some power happens. Some madness is going to happen. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I'm digging it. Including his legendary Ric yep. Flair impression. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> about the four horsemen bro jay lethal killed that impression bro he knocked it out the park bro <laughs> he sound just like rick flair he has the way he talks it it was perfect bro oh my god i think it's one of the most viewed videos on the on my channel bro like I, I i checked it out a few years ago it just went crazy that was my first time seeing the clip it was fantastic <laughs> You want to see it? Yeah. You want to see it? Yeah. Watch this. You can't be me. <laughs> <laughs> to be the man. There's been plenty of memorable and infamous TNA impersonations. Wow. You, you beat me with the freaking Styles Clash. Oh, my brother! Testify! Including Stone hey, Cold Shock Boy. Well, hell yeah. The next time you stick that thermometer up my ass, there's going to be hell to pay, you son of a bitch. About to ready to whip somebody's ass. And that's a fishing line, because Shark Boy said so. If you that's the fishing line, we're not even going to talk about the clip before this. we we just going to skirt past it. You saw it. You saw it. That's the fishing line because Shark Boy said so? All right, then. All right. If you'd like to see the curry man and Shark Boy whip somebody's bass, give me a shell, yeah. yeah. Big Hell sexy yeah. Kevin Ash. I am the ruler of the world. Unlike billionaire Ted, I didn't buy my way to the top. 
No, I borrowed money. And the always bizarre Goldus. Howdy yeah. there, NWO. I'm the coach. <laughs> Big Kev. The Rock now, huh? Say this. And lastly, what? Sting disguised as Sting. Yeah. It's, it's not Kevin Nash because it's not Tyler. It's Sting. It's Bro. Sting. Bro. Sting disguised as Sting. It's perfect. So what are we talking about? It's perfect. Love it. Love it. We have found the real Sting. <laughs> Number 10, Stevie Richards. Stevie Richards' imitations date back to his days in ECW, most notably with the NWO parody known as the Blue World Order. Mm -hmm. Richards played Big Stevie Cool, modeled after Kevin Nash, alongside Hollywood Nova and the Blue Meanie. Hello. <laughs> Stevie continued with the parodies after joining the WWF, where his gimmick was that of someone just trying to fit in and gain acceptance. You gotta be kidding me! Well, back off the injured list is Stevie Richards, who doesn't <laughs> miss the trick. This is gonna be a war here on SmackDown. Oh come on! Stevie Richards and oh wait a minute, give me that shot again. I'm checking my calendar and it's not quite Halloween yet, but Stevie Richards is playing dress up. The acolytes, most recently Dude Love, and now here. Oh. Wow. Well. <laughs> Bro. He just played the smack man. Bro, he's killing me. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's knocking these impressions out the park with the hairstyles and everything. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, sorry, Rock. And oh, oh, oh I don't think the acolytes appreciate the he wasn't oh featured too heavily, but Stevie made it work the best he could. The Dude Love parody was probably his most famous during this time. Rockster. Hey, Mick. Ow! Have mercy. Hey, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? I'll tell you, this guy's whack. He told me earlier on. He's just looking for the for the right character to portray. Number nine, The Big Show. A loss at WrestleMania 2000 made The Big Show turn over a new leaf. He wanted to capitalize on his recent appearance on Saturday Night Live by going Hollywood, as he put it. Show did this by dressing up as different characters, including various wrestlers. So what you gonna do when the showster goes wild on you? Hey, dude! <laughs> Doing this made Big Show go from a lumbering oaf to an entertaining giant. Can't you see your wee fairy? I'm trying to have a little bit of fun. Can't you know who he's, who, who he's trying to be? I'm so mercy. <laughs> Over the years, we later saw Show dress up and impersonate different wrestlers. In the ring, mm. I'm better than you on a stick. My finger is bigger than your. You gotta say your prayers, take your vitamins. I get what you're saying, brother. Straight edge society, dude. <laughs> My client, Brock. <laughs> Last year, right beast in the world's largest athlete had proven time and time again just how versatile he the can The one thing about the big show that we can always, you know, give respect to and credit to. The dude, he would make the best out of some shitty booking, bro. He's having, the, he's trying to have as much fun and be entertaining as possible to the masses. Gotta give respect because the stuff they had the big show doing, it's kind of cringe. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Number Not 8, all Charlie Haas. Creative didn't have much for Charlie Haas in 2008, but this changed during the summer after he began impersonating other wrestlers. Damn! Damn it! Damn! 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 Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't, don't get hot! Have a beer! This was initially meant to be a one-time thing, but Haas was so good here, the gimmick ran for over four months. Boomer sooner! Boomer sooner! Boomer sooner! Hey! Hey! Really, Bo? <laughs> the step! <laughs> Really? Charlie Sicker! Well, yeah. And over seven feet tall, the great 
Charlie. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm glad I don't remember none of this. Appeared as a new character nearly every week, knocking each one out of the park. We've seen him impersonate other Hall of Famers. This is the best ever. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, classic. I'm down with that. That's how you roll. That's how I roll, G. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Me. Really, bro? <laughs> Number seven, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels has done some memorable impersonations over the years. Right. As Shawn dressed up as famous wrestlers he was feuding with at the time. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! It's not how old you are, this is it's how too. old you feel, brother. And I feel 157, brother. <laughs> this was good too. On the other hand, there's been a number of wrestlers who have imitated HBK. Uh -huh. This is Shawn Michaels, and that's, ah, that's the original. That's impressive drop that they are. Very, very impressive. Look at this. Look at the physique. <laughs> 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 Disgusting. Switching gears for a moment to highlight a dishonorable mention. This goes to Dolph Ziggler's uh, heel run uh -huh. in 2017. Fooling the fans into thinking one of their favorites is coming out can work. Yep. But in Dolph's case, the payoff just wasn't there. Here comes the money! Yeah, they didn't have nothing for Dolph, bro. I was just like, oh my goodness, what are they doing? It 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 wasn't funny no more. I don't even think it was funny to the from the beginning, because we just have so much respect for Dolph, and we know he's a great in-ring talent. This is WWE didn't have shit for him, bro. It didn't put heat on Ziggler's character. It just made people annoyed at the lazy creative, since yes. it all felt like filler. Yes. It's not surprising, Dolph considers this period one of the worst of his career. For sure. This is too awful, bro. So now let's take a look at some of the bad fakeouts we've witnessed over the years. Turn around and face! Wow, what the, what the hell? It's not The Undertaker! No, wait! It's The Undertaker dressed like King! <laughs> <laughs> This was a good one. This was a good troll. That was a good troll. Yeah, this is another good one by CM Park. This is so good. So good, man. Some good fake outs. Boy, rest in peace. <laughs> this is a good one too. To contain all the Wait a minute! Wait a minute. Kevin Owens, yep. Yeah. This is a really As revealed good one in his too. second book, Chris Jericho's impersonation of Doink was so good backstage, he had a pilled up Shawn Michaels believing Jericho was taking over the clown gimmick full time. Hey, wait a minute! There's, there's Doink! It's a battle royal at WrestleMania! Indeed, there's... Number 6, New Day. The New Day are renowned for their fantastic uh -huh. cosplays of fellow wrestlers. Every year, fans look forward to seeing who the New Day would dress up as for Halloween. Their costumes were brilliant as the group never failed to entertain. <laughs> it's Halloween! And I love candy! <laughs> All aboard the booty train! <laughs> oh my god, really I get it now. <laughs> It's a New Day! 
Mr. Brood. Come on, man. We're the new Judgment Day. Trick or treat. The fucking money in the bank briefcase is a goddamn to go box. <laughs> that's funny, dog. New Day had some good ones. That, that was, that's funny. Three, come on. No, no, you're so. We want the Number five, Kurt Angle. Given how talented Kurt Angle was uh -huh. when it came to every aspect of wrestling, it's no surprise how good he was at imitating his peers. They didn't have to be spot on impressions, yeah. they just had to be entertaining. In fact, and Kurt making good. each one his own was what helped make the imitation so funny. Can you feel that angle? <laughs> Life. In his Hall of Fame speech, Angle famously told talent, don't take yourself so seriously. Take chances with your personality and your character. Finally, your Olympic hero has come back to Pittsburgh! <laughs> <laughs> if you smell... <laughs> what, 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 what? You're an American badass. I'm an Olympic gold medal last. <laughs> Latino heat driving it on his mow line. I'm just a sexy girl. <laughs> I'll make your ankle hurt. So oh, Kurt Angle is great, bro. Kurt Angle is fucking hilarious. Dude was funny. He had this nerdy funniness about him that was you could tell. It was genuine. Like he he didn't even have to try to be funny. It was just the stuff that he would say and do and how he would say it. It came off hilarious. Cause you know he's making fun of somebody or he's being like a goof. But it's hilarious because he can go in the rings. Such a good contrast, bro. Number four, Triple H. You know you're in for a fun yep. segment whenever Triple H gets to show you his comedic side. He's done some famous ghost plays in his career, showing us just how funny he can be. Yeah. I had Dr. Hung Lo. Never mess with the Hung Lo. Now you get the father ass out of here. Pull up your pants, cause the croc doesn't want to smell what you're cooking. The croc! When it comes to the croc and the, the ladies croc. and the croc hits, Rock bottom. He has no <laughs> choice but to lay that smack down on himself. <laughs> Look at this. What? Hey! What? Hey! What? It's Triple H! Wait a minute! Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on. Look at this. <laughs> and just like his best friend Shawn Michaels, the game is someone who's easy for wrestlers to imitate. Yeah. You want to borrow my glasses? I don't think Triple H the has nose. those tattoos. Look at that on nose. His arm. And the way you wait for that cue of the music, and here comes the water. You just. Boy, <laughs> 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 just despicable dog. Quite Number three, The Miz. The Miz established himself yeah. as the ultimate team player for WWE. No matter what he was given, he gave it his all. It's why we've often seen him dress up and poke fun at others, yep. resulting in memorable segments that featured hilarious impressions. He's like a girl throwing a tantrum, holding coolness for ransom. The Steve Urkel of handsome. Did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> You've been dropping a lot of hints. I bought you a diamond. Dallas Page Yoga DVD set. Bro, I made us all steaks. Him. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm a vegan. I can't eat steak. It's okay, Daniel. I brought you a juice box. Juice box. Yes, 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 yes. Just, 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 just. <laughs> <laughs> It's Miz! Oh, Miz and Morrison! This one right here. <laughs> this is a good one too. Let me talk to you. He Papa killed don't it. Play that. Yeah. Nah, nah. Number two, Damien Sandow. We go from the Miz to his stunt double. No matter what the WWE gave Damien Sandow, he turned it to gold. He was a complete. This is what 
I just said this at the beginning of this video. Damian Sandow did whatever he could to make a dumb type segment or a dumb type promo that they would have him go out there do. He would turn it into gold the best way he possibly could. And it worked. Fantastic stuff. Actual that was going to take anything and make it something. Yeah. It's worse now than he's ever off. been. Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> he does something for Miz down. Oh, my Jesus. Hey, he's just better, the tallest His run as Damien Mizdow was one of the best things on WWE TV during that time period. On today, Fatal 4 Way. Oh the my. tag team titles in Survivor Series Sunday with all four of these teams. <laughs> and back and forth. What a great month it would be for the Usos with the slamming for Tag Team of the Year. Does that mean he's from outer space? No, no. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. He, he made everything so much better. <laughs> hey, Damian Sandow, bro. He deserves so much better in WWE. They didn't even realize how funny this guy was, bro. The, oh, my God. This was so great. <laughs> the universe is actually chance Sandow's better. better? Yes. <laughs> There's the idiot Miz down. Yeah, why don't you come and try to help Miz? <laughs> this is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. Interstitial. The Miz. Oh, oh, the Miz. Miz. Oh, come no, on. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're going to be kidding <laughs> Sandow also did a terrific job copying other wrestlers. <laughs> what? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Mega Powers handshake. I mean, like you are quite the laugh. And this, this is just, this is just great. You're fine! <laughs> 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 oh, you, you were not aware of this? You were not <laughs> aware of this. <laughs> Your posterior better contact someone at once. <laughs> number one, The Rock. What made The Rock's imitation so great was that one. he didn't need to dress up to illustrate who he was mocking. It was already quite clear. Big Slow sits there Big scaring slow. all The Rock's fans. The Great One loved to do impressions of nearly all his opponents, Facts. or in some instances, the fans. Is this the first time you've ever heard someone mention your city? Is that it? Yay! Hooray! Set to <laughs> run to. The last time I saw Pi was when I shot out of my mama's birth canal, but I too still adhere to the C Nation mantra of hustle, loyalty, and respect. Get your punk ass off the rocks, Twitter. <laughs> we want Cody. This Cody's gonna finish his story. This is so good. Oh, Cody crybabies, yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's our grown ass man, and uh, Cody gotta finish his story. He has to finish. The People's Champ had a level of charisma and comedic timing that made him Max. the absolute best. This is why all of his imitations just worked. What you gonna do <laughs> when the 24? No, wait. That's not it. That's not it. To be the man, woo, you gotta beat. No, wait, that's no, not no, it. No. Let the rock tell you in Chinese. Uh oh. Chinese? Ching bang ding dong, he stone go aye. It's me, my boy. It's me, my boy. You can't shut up. No, great one. No, no, no. Don't put me in the oven. Don't put me in the oven. We are the. I'm gonna drink a big glass of milk. <laughs> Eat some chocolate chip cookies, and then maybe I'll take three Viagra. My name is Kane, <laughs> and I am a Rudy Boo candy ass. <laughs> or maybe The Rock is gonna face Rikishi. I did it. I did it. <laughs> For The Rock. I did it. For the people. I, uh, shut your mouth, you thong wearing fatty. Undertaker with his Mickey Mouse tattoos and his 33 <laughs> pound head. Die, die, die. And all that stupid crap <laughs> screaming like a girl. <laughs> Rest in peace. Classic. 
Christ. Well, you know, like, yeah, they sit there and they kept me down for five years. You walk around here so angry, boy. Walk around here mad. Your face all squinched up. <laughs> <laughs> Night, sir. <laughs> I am the game. In the middle of the ring. <laughs> and he has a $2 for a wife! Uh, <laughs> Stand up. You ride around on a sled. What's that all about? <laughs> I too was so down with it. Ah, oh, you too so down with it. What's wrong with you? Did you don't see the rock coming out and saying, what? 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 I gotta get in my pickup truck, drink some Steve Weisers, listen to some Backstreet Boys. <laughs> what is two plus two? Do you know Booker? Two plus two? Thomas Jefferson, sucker! <laughs> you, Chico, Razor Ramon. Rest in peace. Big Daddy Cool, Diesel. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, brother. What you gonna do? <laughs> What's going for gonna do? Time tonight. Not the dance. <laughs> you can't see me. What are you playing, peekaboo? You can't see me. I can see you. You can't. Can you see me? Man, it's tonight the night that they're not going to boo me. Especially the men. It's tonight the night. Well, Gene, I think. Uh, but my name's John. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter what, what your name is. You can cry. You can cry. I can't give the belt to Dusty, but I can give it to my mama. I can give it to my mommy. <laughs> my mommy. Shut the fuck up. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our similar video of the top 10 wrestlers. With I don't care what nobody say, bro. Rock as the final boss, knocking it out of the party. He said, shut the fuck up, bro. Can't wait for him to come back. It's going to be fucking great. Oh, this was good. This was good going back down memory lane. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite impressions from someone in this video. It's out of the rock. I ain't going to lie to you. Saint, um, Samian. Damien Sandow was fucking fantastic. Impersonating the Miz as the Miz's stunt double. Great stuff. I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still here on Speedy YouTube. Rest of the champion world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.